Hi, I'm Lisa, and I do have a story about traveling because for the very first time I traveled to Europe not that long ago. I've been to Mexico, I've been to Bahamas, I've been to Jamaica, but never to, to Europe. And it was my first experience flying by myself, mm. number one, mm. and flying out of the country by myself, number two. So that was a uh, pretty big deal for me. I wasn't nervous, but I was really, I knew I had to be prepared for that part, and I, I think I was. Finland was an experience, even the airports were an experience. Getting to be around people that spoke another language, luckily for me, most people there did speak English. I absolutely was not a normal tourist, because the purpose of, of being there was kind of to follow around a friend who was performing, so it was a lot of running around, and I got to watch some pretty nice performances and meet some great local people and friends. Uh, my friend who um, and got to experience real Finnish culture in the homes of people that live in Finland. We were in Helsinki, so it was um, that the capital. And the only, I'd say the sightseeing that I did was running by places with um, one exception of getting to spend a, a nice chunk of time at the National Museum. So I learned a lot about Finland. I didn't know it was as young of a country as it is. It was it's 100 years old, mm -hmm. and the history was pretty fascinating. I'd want to go through it all again to retain, <laughs> retain mm -hmm. more, but um, I was really excited to be there. It, there definitely was a different feel. We didn't go to any restaurants. I think we had um, a food truck experience which was good. We were hungry on the road. And luckily where we stayed was very close to a market. We were able to purchase local food. And um, lucky me, I was with someone who was a good cook, so things got put together when we were hungry, kind of on the run, but um, again, another experience, of, you know, real finished food. The sights, getting to just walk around. I, I took a lot of pictures as I could, just kind of stop for a minute. <laughs> some pictures, I, I like pictures of windows and doors of old architecture, mm -hmm. so <coughs> there was plenty of that. There's not one part that was my favorite, but it really was an experience to be in Europe. It's very hard to explain, because here, and I was told that, that, it, it, that it would be like this, um, and here our, our buildings aren't as old, and there's, there's just a, a feel in the air we were very fortunate weather-wise. We were able to, we, we did public transportation and, and walked and we really lucked out. The weather was nice, unseasonably nice. It was the week of Easter. But um, I'm looking forward to going back again and met some great people. And um, it was my, my first Europe experience and I'm definitely bit by the travel bug. So that's <laughs> probably my most exciting, most recent travel story. And that's it. Thank you. Unless you have questions. Yeah. <laughs> and can you expand on the food more? Mm. We we like bought cheeses and mustards and a lot of fish put together. Too, isn't it? I've heard that. Again, we um, we didn't do any restaurants. We didn't do any major cooking. It was really just kind of on the. So next time, that's that'll be mm -hmm. something a priority to to do some restauranting. But it just it was a really busy week, so it was kind of going by the by the hours, what we, what we could do when we could eat. Mm -hmm. Healthier, definitely healthier. The history you mentioned, it's only, as a country, it's only a hundred years old, right? So is there, what, what was it part of one of the other Scandinavian countries at one point? I'm know? not going to get this right, but I know that there was Sweden. I believe at one point it was part of Sweden, and at one part it was part of Russia, okay. and there were squabbles over. World War I. The two. That's 1919. There were two places where I saw um, actual bullet holes from mm. a, a war that had gone on, yep. you know, fire that was exchanged. I made it a business trip. One of the meetings I had was with a skincare company. Because I'm an esthetician and I'm like, well, wherever I go, I'm like, well, what do they, I wonder what they do for mm -hmm. skincare. And I did some research and found a company. It was, about, it was an hour train ride outside of Helsinki. And the reason I was really excited about the product line, because it, it was organic and toxic free, which is always a priority to me, but learning about the environment, um, the pristine water, 
the clean air, the no GMOs allowed in the country, so the plant matter material mm -hmm. that was used to make the product line, I just imagine that it would be everything that we can get in this country as far as the quality and the purity mm -hmm. of a product, um, and even better. And that was um, a really important part, really exciting part of the trip for me too, it was the last day, the afternoon we spent at, at um, the factory and we got a little tour of how they made the products and met the owners, which was really sweet. I felt that it was a healthier place. Mm -hmm. Even, I want to say in spirit, there's just something about the a calmness. Now I didn't spend a lot of time there and we didn't get really to see the countryside and uh, I didn't meet a whole bunch of people but a lot and everybody just, I was, I was in the company of somebody who was very loved so the people I were, got to meet and spend time with were very upbeat, nice, friendly people too which was nice. Um, but overall, a healthy place, some place I would definitely like to see more of and spend more time at.